Felicia Greenfield with Rescue Men USA. And I'm Jen Halpern with Rescue Men USA. And what is Rescue Men USA? <laughs> so Rescue Men USA is a calendar. We have 12 inspirational men who have either rescued, adopted, or fostered their companion animals. And we do the calendar to promote that and to promote Adopt Don't Shop. Jen and I uh, each run individual animal charities and together we were looking for a way to reach to the non-animal audience. So give them the message to adopt on shop. So many people think the only way to get a great animal is going out and buying one from a breeder or a pet store, God forbid. And we want to get the message, adopt on shop. Animals from shelters are just as good, if not better. They can be purebred if that's what you want. Not that it matters, but you can get a purebred animal at a rescue organization. We're telling me about the guys. Could you got some hunky guys here? We have a little mix of everything in our calendar. We want to show that all types of men, from dentists to IT workers to cover models. This gentleman actually holds the record for Greg Avedon for being on the cover of Men's Health the most times. And he has rescue bunnies. <laughs> and there are men out there, handsome, smart, intelligent, um, inspirational men that know to adopt and never they would never shop and we want to use these guys and they want to be used as role models we want people to say hey wait I want to be like that guy I want to look like him or do what he does and he rescues maybe I should rescue well first of all you are doing incredible work providing toys for shelter animals tell me about that yes so Rescue Men USA actually works under the umbrella company of Pillows for Paws Pillows for Paws is an organization that provides comfort and enrichment items for shelter cats, dogs, and rabbits. So the net proceeds from this calendar go toward that. So it really benefits shelter animals while they are still waiting for their forever homes, while we are promoting the message to go out there and adopt those animals. Now, you were saying about how these poor animals in these shelters don't have anything. Absolutely. Depending on the, the municipal shelter or the private shelter, a lot of the, the money goes to what some people consider the necessities. Of course, they need their food, they need, um, they need uh, someone to clean them, to walk them. But other necessities include uh, chew toys for dogs. When dogs are um, very scared or they have a lot of energy and they are confined to a cage, one way they can release that energy is through chewing. If they have nothing to chew on, they're not going to be relaxed. And not only is that very upsetting for the animal, but it doesn't make the animal look adoptable. When people come in and potential adopters come in to give that animal a forever home, we give them pillows for paws, helps to give them things to chew on, catnip toys, something to play with, beds so they're not on the wire mesh, mesh cages as they are in some shelters. We meet monthly and we have a, a big group of volunteers that come and they actually make beds. They sew beds by hand and they make crafts. We make shelter toys for cats, dogs, and rabbits at the shelter. And yes, it's so important. We feel that the emotional component of being in a stressful environment in the shelter is really a factor in helping them to get adopted. It's helping them with their health. It's just helping them to feel like there's hope. And that's really a big part of why we do what we do. 